A refractory material is a mineral that is resistant to decomposition by heat, pressure or chemical attack. Refractory materials are used in furnaces, kilns, incinerators and reactors. Today, the iron and steel industry and metal casting sectors use approximately 70% of all refractories produced. Refractories are produced in two basic forms, granular and formed objects. The preformed products are called bricks and shapes. These products are used to form the walls, arches and floor tiles of various high temperature process equipment. Unformed compositions include mortars, gunning mixes, castables, gramming mixes and plastics. Refractory manufacturing involves four processes raw material processing, forming, firing and final processing. The process of forming frequently occurs under wet or moist conditions. Firing involves heating the refractory material to high temperatures in a periodic or continuous tunnel kiln to form the ceramic bond that gives the product its refractory properties. A continuous tunnel kiln provides high productivity and energy efficient way of manufacturing refractories. The tunnel kiln is a car pushing type continuous kiln consists of preheating, firing and cooling zones. It is suitable for a large production and is fabricated at the spot. A tunnel brick kiln is generally 50 to 120 meters in length, 2 to 3 meters high with 6 to 20 numbers of burners installed in the heating zone of the kiln. The firing temperature varies from 900 to 1100 degrees Celsius, depending on the clay. The internal movements of products are through cars or rolls. In order to optimize the fuel consumption in the kiln, waste heat is recovered from the cooling zone of the kiln. Materials like bricks, tiles and ceramics are some common products that may be mass-produced with the aid of a tunnel kiln. The cooling air is blown through the discharge end and passes through the entire kiln before being let out through the chimney. Use of tunnel kiln leads to high production rate, preheating of material, cooling is done efficiently and economically compared to the other conventional kilns like down draft kilns. सिंपल अगर एंशिएंट वे में देखें तो दो टाइप की फर्नेसेस होते हैं एक तो हमारा बेस्ट टाइप है और दूसरा हमारा कंटीन्यूअस टाइप है बट रीसेंट इंडस्ट्री अभी कंटीन्यूअस फर्नेसेस का यूज़ कर रही है और एक्चुअली उसका यूज़ करने का रीज़न है कि हमें फ्यूल सेव करना है पॉल्यूशन को कम करना है और साथ ही साथ प्रोडक्शन को इंक्रीज करना है बेनिफिट्स ऑफ टनल किल इंक्लूड कंसिस्टेंट हाई वॉल्यूम प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम यूनिट्स high levels of control giving top quality products, low energy usage and lower cost production, computer controlled to make operations simple and reliable, and low maintenance and minimal downtime. The estimated project cost for a 50 TPD tunnel kiln is approximately around 260 lakhs. A 50 TPD energy efficient tunnel kiln can lead to savings of 2,000 tons of coal per annum compared to other conventional brick manufacturing process. Thus, the investment can be recovered in less than three years' time. The technology can lead to a saving of 700 to 750 tons of oil equivalent of energy, implying a monetary savings of rupees 80 to 90 lakhs and a GHG emission reduction of 2,800 to 3,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. If implemented in 25 units, this can lead to a saving of 17,500 tons of oil equivalent of energy and 70,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually. Installation of tunnel kiln helps in improving the thermal efficiency and in turn making it financially viable and technically feasible. Internationally, India has committed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 33 to 35 percent by the year 2030. MSMEs can contribute significantly to achieve these targets by adopting energy efficient technologies and best practices.